about venom. I want to talk about anger. I want to talk about when is anger necessary and why is anger being restrained? Um, I come from a very angry place and I'm going through a very angry situation right, right now. At what level does the venom well up? Do you have a protocol on how you deal with anger? For example, I try to deal with people fairly and squarely. Where they go from there is all on them. You know, I can come to you with arms wide open, with hugs, you know, with gifts. I can come bearing gifts or I can come bearing a hammer. I can come bearing a sword. And I think that me, you could replace that with anybody, anywhere. You know, if you treat somebody like shit and you dick them around, you're going to cause anger. You're going to cause strife. So what I'm dealing with here is the art of releasing the venom in a way that doesn't get you in jail or doesn't get you killed or doesn't kill a bunch of people. When is it necessary to get in trigger time, a.k.a. killing people? Um, you think about, for example, you're working. You got a factory. It's got about 1,300 employees. They're working. They get paid every two weeks. Well, two weeks come up, the check ain't there. They ain't getting paid. They say, okay, we'll pay you next week. Hey, them guys got to eat. You run them another two weeks, see what happens. They're either going to keep working, and a lot of people do that. You know, they'll, they'll take a bite. They're not going to fight back over a bite. You know, a little money, they'll get mad. They'll, they'll huff, they'll puff. You know, they'll blow their lid. They might beat their old lady. They might kick their dog. You know, might beat their kid. That anger goes somewhere. You know. Or they're going to fight back in the form of substandard product. They're going to say, you know what? Fuck this company. I don't respect it anymore. They're going to show up late. Their cuts aren't going to be as good as their cuts. They're not going to give a shit. Say, man, I don't respect the name. You know. Or three, they're going to grab a pair and they're going to come to the horse's mouth. They're going to come to you. And they're going to fuck you up. They're going to beat you up. They're going to steal from you. They're going to kill you. You know. And it's like, why do we have to get to that point? When is the venom, when can we take this venom and you take this, this as you know, that we talked about rattling the cage. If you go back earlier, we talked about rattling the cage. Rattling the cage is necessary to make deals. Think about Iran deals. Think about North Korea deals. Think about nuclear deals. Think about the Cold War. History is full of deals that went bad. And that venom and the tolerance is, okay, I'm putting my ass in the air and I'm wanting to get fucked. Some people like getting fucked. You know, it's better that way. I mean, when you're talking about horrors, you know, horrors make money getting fucked. Well, see, guys, you know, like me, uh, you know, we're out here working or we're building projects and stuff. When the man don't pay, the job don't get done, it has a cascading effect. And sometimes people get hurt. And uh, it comes down to, are you a pussy? Are you going to take them doing that? Or are you going to stick up and say, you know what? The boss man didn't pay me on this job. I'm going to set the house on fire. You know. So-and-so's fucking my old lady. I'm going to beat him to death with a hammer. You know. When are you going to lift up your sack and say, hey, enough's enough. And it's like it doesn't always have to happen that way. But unfortunately, it's looking like more and more every day that goes by these people are going to degrade you and you're going to either have to be clear and concise and professional 
and escalate the verbiage like I have. You're going to have to throw in some harsh words, some angry words, some violent words. If they're not getting the picture, you may have to steal a ladder off of the truck. You may have to cut tires. You may have to break windows, you know, until they get the fucking message. I'm not going. And once that happens, it ends, like I said, prison, death, feuds, Hatfield, I mean, it goes, it could, it could get, it could get, it could get ugly, it could get real bad. So I want you to think about that. Like I said, they're tapping my phones. Click subscribe and I'll let me know.